Hey Jordan, I'm just looking at your logos. I think that these are a, an improvement. I really do think the right, more regular lines on the flash idea are a, are a good improvement. Um, it just aesthetically for me anyway, more pleasing. So let's, I think the black and white logo looks really pretty good, but I think the color logo could maybe use maybe a little bit more um it is a simple logo so like but you could add potentially like just like a curve here with the pen tool um did that come right up? okay yeah and then you know maybe i don't know if this would be good or not i'm just experimenting but you know you could have an, a, maybe possibly a curve here too And then maybe the inside, let's ungroup. Maybe the insides of these could be, oh, I don't think that this is joined with this. So some of these paths are all separate. I'm gonna push shift on my keyboard to bring them all together and then go to object, path, join. And that will make it all one shape. Um, I'll do that on this one too. Hopefully it doesn't goof it up too much. Object path join okay so now i should be able to fill these in solid and that almost looks like an eye now which is kind of an interesting thing but we could you know maybe make like this you know this nice blue color so i don't know why it came up with that but that's whatever um, and if i want to add these to my swatches to kind of save it um here let me see my window is way too big so i'm going to shrink it in a little bit so you can see what i'm doing um, move my properties panel over so swatches are right here i can open that up and then i can just drag this color over here and now it's right here so uh, maybe i want the stroke to be that same color from the swatch so there we go and uh, this must be grouped so i'm maybe i want to make this this color i'm using the eyedropper tool to sample um and maybe this color i want to bring it over here and i'll change the fill color to go back into the swatches panel to that and then maybe um you know this could be all the same color here uh, so let's do these first maybe we want these to all be black oops since these are lines, um, we want to make it a stroke color because lines are strokes. So maybe something like that for the color one. I mean, I think this being over top of that is a little bit maybe problematic. Could potentially be solved by maybe opening it up a little bit. I don't know if that's going to disjoin it, you know, like make everything kind of seem disjointed. This could potentially be ungrouped this could potentially be moved up and then you know then we might be able to get this a little bit closer and then we would have to change the black and white version to just be this so I mean I can show you um, in the properties panel we can edit artboards um, and then we can add an artboard by clicking on this button so now we have two artboards in our document um, so we can let's do this so I'm going to get back on here I'm going to click and drag to get everything selected. I'm going to push option on my keyboard and shift. So it goes, let's see if this will work actually. Option, start dragging, push shift down. I'm holding down on my mouse the whole way after pushing option. Option will copy an item. I'm going to move that, nest that in there. Um, and then so I can just change all of this, you know, all of these colors to black, including the stroke colors. In the properties panel using the properties panel so i mean it could be something maybe a little bit more like this that does change your logo a little bit but um it might help just to make it bold a little bit bolder um although you know you never know maybe jason will actually really like the lightness of this logo it's kind of airy it has a lot of breathing room it's and if, if this was all white on a photograph it would not 
interfere with the image beneath, which is something that he's looking for. But I just wanted to show you a couple things that might help to make the logo a little bit more bold and also to add color to the logo in a way that's not just adding it here and here like you did on the other one. Um, I'm not saying that this is necessarily better, but I just wanted to show you that. Um, hopefully we see you in class Thursday this week. Um, I'm going to be making a video that goes over the demo that we did on Tuesday. So um, be looking in Brightspace for that. Talk to you later. Bye.